Yeah, we're up in New Hampshire and we're doing the drill. This is a drill done at 10 yards. It consists of 10 shots within 10 seconds. It's uh, Larry Vickers, Ken Hackathorn. Looks like an easy drill, but I have to say it's not. It really requires you to focus in. What you're trying to do is hit within a five and a half inch diameter circle, 10 shots, so it's a balance of, of reasonable speed with ultimately accuracy from 10 yards. So we're gonna run the drill and see what it looks like. I'm sure we've got a scoped up pistol here. Here we go. Okay, I was under, I was over the time, so I was uh, significantly slow. So I didn't pass the drill, and it looks like I threw one out. So not only did I miss the time, I also missed the accuracy. So let's take a look at our target here real quick. So here's our target, and as you can see, I just broke the line over here. I'm pulling all my shots a little bit to the left, um, and I was over in the time frame. So I'm going to try this again and see if we can dial in a little bit more, um, speed up just a shade, and then see if we can get all our hits in. Point five nine, and I threw a shot out. So there are, uh, there's our target. It looks like just on the left there, I've got one that's out, uh, but the rest of them are in there. I did um, switch guns. The first string that I ran, I ran with the M&P full size. The second string with the M&P Pro. I've been shooting the Pro so much more that I'm just more comfortable, and the trigger is better, which for me that helped it. So our time uh, was. You can see it there, 8.59. First shot was 1.9 out of holster, so I'm not explosive out of the holster, um, but we were able to uh, finish the drill. And except for that one, that's uh, that line there, I'm gonna tape it up and we'll try it one more time to make sure that we're really getting those hits, but I feel pretty good about that. Um, I did um, pass the test, I believe. So we're gonna tape it up, try it one more time. Let's take a quick look at our shots here. I think you'll see they're in. So there we go. We've got them all in. Um, and I think, if I'm correct, this is the area. So this might not count um, because I believe it's this five inch not this seven inch um, or eight inch circle there. So again, we have our time. You can see there at um, 8.25, 10 shots, out of holster 1.84. So uh, that's the drill. So we're gonna run this drill again 10 yards, this time we have a steel plate. I like shooting steel because it's a reactive target and it forces you to behave a little differently than when you're shooting paper just because there's something going on. So again, 10 yards from the target, 10 seconds, 10 shots, V drill as it's called. We'll see if we can uh, hit it this time. Well, I missed one, uh, but I did get our time here. So we have uh, 9.51. Uh, first shot was a little slow uh, at 1.95 out of holster. So it's a little slow out of holster. My split times are just about, I would say, averaging, I'm looking at them here, probably 0.8. So 
Again, a good drill. I feel like with the exception of that one shot, I was seeing the front sight as it was dropping back down over that white plate. So this is a drill I feel is very beneficial to, to, uh, to use. I'm going to do the drill again, and this time I don't, I don't know how many rounds I have left, but I'm going to shoot to slide lock uh, and then try to finish out the drill. And again, focusing on getting the hit. So here we go. Next run. So I missed a few toward the end there. I kind of got rattled with that reload. I punched it and my mag didn't come out and I was kind of shocked. So uh, that's why we practice. So we had 12.27. Uh, I did not finish. I did not meet the uh, time requirement. And I threw at least one out, maybe two. I'll have to look on the video. Uh, my reload was really slow. 3.35. Extremely slow. So clearly I've got some opportunities to improve that. So that's it. That's the drill, as it's called by Vickers Hackathorn, 10 yards from the target, 10 shots uh, within 10 seconds. A great drill to practice, develop skills such as speed, accuracy, and being able to draw from holster, present the weapon, and get good hits on target with a little bit of time pressure. That's it. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe.